My name is Suzanne Durier. I am a principal economist with the Gender and Diversity Division of the IDB, where I lead the bank's work on disability inclusion. I've been working at home for the last month because of the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 is not an equal opportunity virus. Certain demographic groups, including people with disabilities, are more vulnerable to adverse impacts. And this is why differentiated policy responses are so important. Uh, within the Latin American and uh, Caribbean region, approximately 13% of the population lives with a disability. And this represents over 70 million people in the region. This is a very large collective. So people with disabilities are facing you know, three related risk factors. One is higher risk of complications uh, from COVID that's related to underlying health conditions associated with disability status. The other is unintended consequences related to confinement policies. So people with disabilities, especially with high support needs, require personal assistance and other people providing support um, to come and have access to their homes, or if they um, are living in residential settings, um, to also have access. Uh, third, people with disabilities, uh, even before the pandemic, are much more likely to be living close to the poverty line or under the poverty line, um, and so the pandemic is much more likely to push them into poverty. Argentina, Brazil, and Ecuador are among the countries that are ensuring that communications about protocols and information about COVID are being provided in accessible formats for people with disabilities, uh, both in sign language and digitally accessible formats for screen readers. So both Argentina and Colombia have issued decrees that, are, um, that insist that personal assistance and other people providing support to people with disabilities are allowed to circulate. Uh, and so this is allowing people with disabilities to have access to these critical services during the pandemic. To address the economic vulnerability of people with disabilities, um, Trinidad and Tobago, as well as Peru, have uh, temporarily added or increased cash transfers that are directed to people with disabilities to help mitigate the economic impacts of the pandemic. Of the pandemic. If you'd like to learn more about the IDB response, uh, please visit our website, www.iadv.org slash coronavirus.